It has begun. The book Tubathon is officially in the works. I'm so excited. Yes, I am using the clock on my oven. And somehow it's getting blurrier by the second. It is now 6-19, day one, Monday of the book Tubathon. And I basically have nothing read. I'm not really sure how vlogs work, if you know what I'm saying. I've seen maybe like five in my lifetime. It's very bad. I'm not experienced. I don't watch things like that. So, if this is a little messy or a little weird, I apologize. This is really weird. Okay. It's okay, Bailey. We can do this. Okay. Stop panicking. I would totally vlog with like another camera, but I don't have one with a viewfinder where I can see myself. And so I feel like if I carried this camera around, I'd never know what you're seeing. And it'd probably just like... Nothing or like a really weird body part and just be like a close-up and it'd be a mess. So this might be the location of the vlog updates. Right before the book Tubathon started around midnight, I had been reading The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn, but I knew I would not get this done during the book Tubathon. I'm about literally, I'm just a little over halfway through maybe. I'm on page 220. But I know this would take me at least an entire week to finish because I'm like so slow at reading and I just don't feel that invested in the story. I'm putting that on the back burner. So the first book I was supposed to read for the book Tubathon is, insert picture here, of Devil's Line, Volume 5. But I'm very much a mood reader and I feel really bad because I decided not to pick that up first. Like, already failure, number one, commencing. I just finished a manga, Blue Exorcist, and I just really feel in the mood to try and pick up another one. And I was really in the mood for something horror-like. And so, instead of reading Devil's Line, I decided to pick up Coraline by Neil Gaiman. And so I started this around maybe 1 o'clock last night. And then I got maybe 15 pages in and I just kept, like, going... Ah! That was the experience. I feel really bad. So I was too tired. I was like, I literally had this plan to read 70 pages and that just didn't happen. It was really terribly unfortunate. But I did read some and now I'm on page 28 of Coraline. Uh, it's not that big of an accomplishment, but you know, we take the little wins. Just, I'm excited to just even be participating, even if it's kind of a flop at the moment. But I, the goal, honestly, is to get two books done. Two books done during the book two with Dawn. That, that will make me feel feel very happy. My thoughts on Coraline? Well, let's see here. I read this originally back in sixth grade, maybe, from my school's library, and I remember enjoying it so, 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 so much. And as a kid, you never really notice when books take place in other countries or other cities. Now that I'm reading it, I, I just, I didn't realize it took place in Europe. I'm reading it, I'm like, oh, they're sort of close to London. No wonder they talk sort of funny compared to how I talk. It's so funny how many times Coraline is warned that something bad's gonna happen and not to go into the door and she's just like, danger, fun. As a child I'd be like, oh, okay, oh, okay. Tomorrow I'm planning on probably not reading very much unfortunately because there is a huge Harry Potter party going on at work so I'm sure that'll take up a lot of time. I do plan however on perhaps listening to a part of an audiobook tomorrow. Circuit of Freak, book one, A Living Nightmare by Darren Shan. This was not originally on my TBR. I had no idea that Allie from Hardback Hoarder was doing a readathon of all the Circuit of Freak books. So that was extremely exciting to find out. The first book is supposed to be read this week. So I'm very excited. I do not have the physical copy. I've been in the process of collecting all of them, but I do not own the first one. So I am going to be hopefully downloading that, borrowing it from Hoopla and listening to the audiobook. I have never finished an audiobook. I have tried to listen to like three audiobooks, never succeeded in finishing one. I tried Aristotle and Dante Discovered Secrets of the Universe, which I read the physical book and I absolutely loved. And I thought I would absolutely love listening to it. It did not work out. I got like maybe like eight minutes in. <sighs> I'm a failure. And then I try to listen to Divergent again. Maybe got like three minutes in. I'm just like, it's not happening today. And then I tried to listen to I'm Number Four, but also did not work. I have read all of the Search to Freak books. I had originally seen the movie, which flopped. But I saw it when it was on pay-per-view after it had already come out. I was in fifth grade and I hadn't really delved into any vampire 
books before. And I saw that movie and I absolutely fell in love with it. All of my sisters did. We had never heard of the book series and we found out that the movie was based on a book, a movie that we really, really enjoyed at the time and still do. I got it for my birthday several years ago. <laughs> so we decided to start reading the series. The library I have a card with at the time did not have the ability to borrow books from other libraries. And the books in the series were constantly being stolen, and so the only book in at the moment was the second book, The Vampire's Assistant. So I had read that one, and I have a very vivid memory of reading that book. I started reading them in fifth grade. I think I got done around seventh or eighth grade. I remember reading it in my fifth grade math class because I remember the math class stopped because Someone during my recess got a concussion and, and fell on the ice, so they had to rush him to the hospital in an ambulance. The teacher who was in charge of that class went with the boy, and they said to stay quiet and read to the rest of us there in the room. It was Cirque de Freak, book two, The Vampire's Assistant. And my oldest sister had read it, and then my second oldest sister had read it, and then it was finally my turn to read it. And I just have a distinct memory of sitting on that kind of dirty hard floor under the chalkboard reading that book. And then after that I read the first one. The first one is probably my least favorite. I love this series so much as a whole. I've tried rereading it at least four times and every time I get to book three and one time I got to book four and then I never finished the reread. This might be the time. And that was a really long explanation. Hopefully I'll have a better update for you tomorrow. Maybe I'll have pictures from the Harry Potter party. Yay! I have been trying on shirts for like just like five minutes because I want to wear something green. It seem like I am slithering even though I've never officially been sorted and I know, I know I'm gonna be a Hufflepuff. In my heart I know. My boss she got this little electronic sorting hat that she's gonna use with the kids to sort them and she sorted me prior and it came out saying Slytherin and I'm like ah! so much excitement at that moment in time. She said that people don't really like to be sorted into Slytherin and that there are fights and she's done this before. I'm like you have no idea how much this pleases me. No idea. I don't know why I want to be Slytherin so badly. I just want to be Slytherin. I want to be a Slitherhuff. I just I want I want to be that way. Excellent talk, Bailey.